I hurt myself today. See that thumbs up, guys? I'm gonna jab him and he's fucking. I mean, yeah, that's what I wanna do. I wanna jab him with that finger. Because he just annoys the snot out of me. Uh oh. Did I just blind you guys with my stuff? Is it okay? I think I touched it. It's fine. I get in trouble for touching stuff. There's a truck coming. We'll go after this truck. Oh my gosh, my shirt's choking me here. I've got to got to adjust. Y'all, I got on all Yeah, actually I think I, most of my winter I shouldn't say all of it. I have some some heavy boots and stuff that I don't have on. It'd be nice to live in one of them houses. Well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say that cuz they get a lot of snow here. It might suck. You might be afraid you'll fall down into the water. Anyway, we're at Cordelin D D D Arlene? I don't know. I have no clue how to say it. I call it Cordeline Lake. Riding around today. It is sure is pretty out here. It's also chilly. It was 40, I think it was 48 degrees when we left the house today. Or the house, yeah. When we left the house on wheels today, it was 48 degrees. So I actually have my heated vest on. But I don't have it on because I actually don't need it. I'm actually, my torso's warm. I got my Under Armour Long Johns on, a shirt over it, and then my heated vest over it. But I don't have it on yet because I want to save the battery. So that way if I don't need it, I'll have it later. And then my big riding jacket. And then I have on some Under Armour Long Johns and a pair of pants over them. And I could probably do a little bit more on the legs. I think I might need to buy some uh, big, extra big sweatpants so I can fit them on over as an extra layer just to deflect the wind. Because it's not the cold, it's just the wind that gets you. And I have no idea what to do. Ooh, look at that pretty bridge up there. I have no idea what to sol do to solve this problem. But there's air coming in, like, in the front of my chin from under my helmet, like crazy. Stay over there, big boat. And is that why people wear them face handkerchiefs or something and maybe tuck them into your shirt? I don't know. I have no clue. But I do know it makes my little face cold. So I don't know how long for sure we're going to ride today. But we shall see. And also, these gloves are summer gloves. So they have little, oh look at the puppy. So they have little air holes in them. So I had to get me some winter gloves to solve that problem. I wonder if that's the interstate up there. See it up there? The wind socks. <clears throat> I bet it is. So anyway, I had to get me some little riding gloves that are winter gloves and, and something for my chin. I had to downshift to get up this hill. I might as well be in the bicycle lane over there. <laughs> no, I ain't that slow. <sighs> so, where did I last leave off with you guys? Oh, I know. I was over in Washington, and I had fell. Y'all, he made a meme of me falling. He made a meme of me falling, and then he added Johnny Cash singing Hurt today. So you hear Johnny Cash singing I Hurt Myself Today as I'm flailing around on the ground. I didn't find it near as funny as he did. Actually, I find it hysterical now. I laugh at it all the time. But I'm not going to tell him that because I want him to think that he's a butthole. And he should be sucking up and massaging my feet and my shoulders. But he ain't doing a very good job of it. Speaking of my wreck, I had an epiphany the other day. My dad drove a truck for years. And he had, well, he had some small stuff happen, right? But the only big wreck that he ever had 
was when he was sitting still. He had just stopped. And I told you, I blame all my personality flaws on my dad, right? Because, you know, he's a bastard child. And it was just, uh, was it three years ago now? Like a year before he retired that this happened. He was up in Wisconsin. And he was coming back empty. And what he did is apparently him and three other trucks were on the interstate and going through, like, well, I guess it was on the interstate, and they stopped. And the other trucks were loaded. And he was empty. And I guess there was actually tornadoes in the town, but the other truck stayed up and he blew over. Like, just fell straight over. And the guy behind him came up and got him. They got him out of the truck and everything. And he ended up going to the hospital. He was fine. He had a little glass in his, uh, in his arm and some stuff like that. But nothing major. I'm, my stepmom called me and said, Oh my God, your dad flipped his truck, Tammy. And she was upset. So she was sniffling and... And I'm like, okay, is he okay? And she started talking about glass in his arm. And I was like, okay, I don't care if there's glass in his arm. I, mean, I just thought that to myself. I don't care if there's glass in his arm. I imagine there's glass everywhere because that's what happens. What I'm thinking in my head is this man drives 70 miles an hour everywhere he's at, everywhere he goes, because that's as fast as his truck would go. And I'm thinking he rolled his truck at 70 miles an hour. So instead of listening to her talk I was like uh, does he have any broken bones she's like no I don't think so is he bleeding from anywhere she said no I don't think so who did you speak to is he currently alive and later they were laughing at me but I'm like you know uh, in the world of truck driving what the hell is this well, in the world of truck driving, huh, I guess our road ends here. Well, I shouldn't say the road ends, but we don't get to go the rest of the way around. Anyway, in the world of truck driving, that's what you expect to happen. You don't expect someone to stop on the road in the middle of a tornado and gently fall over. That's kind of what I did. I stopped, except I was in gravel. I wasn't in the middle of a tornado. And then I just, well, I shouldn't say I was stopped. I was turning, but I was going slow, you know. So apparently, genetics has it to where I come from a family that we go slow when we fall over. I don't even know if you call it wrecks. You just sort of go slow and oh dang we fell over that's what his truck did i don't consider it like he rolled it like rolled it around a bunch he just sort of sort of fell over you know well now we're gonna have to stop and regroup because this road looks like it's been closed for a while see all the dirt and stuff around the pillar things there or the jersey barriers <sighs> Dang you, Idaho. Idaho. There's a bunch of eagle stuff. Hmm. We'll regroup and see where we're going. I'll see you guys on our next journey.